Okay, <clears throat> it's my new uh, mini metal lathe that I bought. Got a hell of a deal for it. Paid $180 for the dang thing. Um, from a guy that actually does motorcycle seats. And uh, he don't live very far from me. Probably about, uh, yeah, maybe 15 miles or so, 16 miles or so. So I gotta talk to him. That's another whole another issue that I'm gonna talk to him about some stuff. I already talked to him. But anyway, this is my new uh, lathe. It's a mini lathe. It's a 7 by 12 Siege uh, makes it. Anyways, I'm gonna work on the chuck. And I've unbolted, un, un, did the nuts. There's a, a nut here. There's three of them. And those are the threads that they're hooked to. And uh, I have it marked because it comes off systematically. There's a way to put it, you know, that way it, it's got to go back on. And I marked them with a triangle and a circle. And then basically just um, tap it and it comes off. And this is the uh, chuck. Now I'm not sure what type it is. I know there's such thing as a, what they call a scroll. Type. and I don't know if that's what this is so what I'm gonna do is give me a few and I'm gonna set this uh, tripod up and I'm gonna take it apart so be back okay um, first things first uh, looks like there's uh, three screws here that I'm gonna take off first not exactly sure what that do it does for me but you know what no I'm not gonna do it that way um, from what I read, the jaws are numbered. Now I'm going to unscrew these jaws, and bring them all the way out. And I don't know if this, again, if this is what they call a scroll type jaw, or chuck, I mean. Oh, it is. Yes, it is. These are a little more expensive. Um, I've heard that uh, these can be pretty expensive. Now these are not, oh yes they are, number two. And let's see here, A3206, right? Let me see something here. I want to take it apart and clean it good. Uh, clean the scroll. Uh, I watched some other videos that tell us how to do that. Oh, that's it. Okay. Now I'm going to just remove one of them because I want to see they're supposed to be numbered. Now this says number two on it with some other numbers and I'll show you in a second. But I'm just verifying something here. That's number three. They have to go back on in that pattern. So what I'm going to do, that's number one. Alright, now supposedly It's written on here. What numbers what are um, what, but I don't see that. So I'm trying to see who makes this dang thing. It's obviously China. All right, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to uh, sort of nice. Sorry about that, guys. Camera had my screwdriver. I'm going to um, etch the number. That's number three. The best I can, at least for now. That's number three. And again, they come out, you know, they go back in that way. This is the scroll uh, teeth here. And I'll show you what that means here in a little bit. So I get this stupid thing apart. Anyways, let's put this back in there. This one is number one. Let's 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I have a little electric engraver, I'm going to take and engrave that on there. And this one's obviously number two. So let's let's make that number two. Okay. And you know this, these need cleaned. You know you have to clean them. And there's some other numbers on here. It must be a part number like an A three thirty twenty six three zero two six A three zero two. That's the jaw part number. So anyways. Inside here, I don't know if you can see it or not, guys, um, is what they call the scroll. Let's see here, what kind of vision do I got here? I'm crying out loud. Yeah, you can see it. Inside there is what they call the scroll. And I'm going to take it apart more to get to that. So, but this thing needs some TLC. Uh, Okay, these threads are adjustable, I see. For the length that they need to be for... They may pertinent... pertinent nope. <clears throat> I'll leave them back in here. Uh, they're just for the length of uh, the adjusting... Uh, putting it on the uh, machine. Alright, these are pretty nice and loose. Uh, in fact, that's what the video showed there. These better ones have, there's like a threaded pin with a, or a pin with a thread at the end. It's a uh, flat blade. And oh, in fact, what these do, come to think of it, I'm going to put these back, put this one back. Um, they allow you to take this off. I don't want to take that off yet. So anyways, I'm going to pull these little screws here and they're just a machine little machine screw uh, Phillips head uh, I don't know what their specs are off the top of my head but this is something I'm learning uh, machine a little bit I've been studying it and watching it for several years and I'm really interested um, and it looks like it's been you know pretty maintained you know obviously it's been you know it's in good clean shape here and stuff, but I want to clean it. The tool's new to me. Uh, the machine's new to me, so I want to uh, I want to do my thing to it, you know. Now, just lifting this up. The tolerances are really close on these things, obviously, because it is precision piece of equipment so I want to make sure I'm bringing this out of here huh. now let's try this oh that's how it comes out <laughs> so anyways this here and see it's needs to be cleaned you know these need to be cleaned this is all the parts to it but anyways this is the inside of this dude and uh, the good chucks, uh, this is what they are. And I was also told that sometimes with the good chucks, there's only one of these gears. Well, this has or one of, you know, uh, chuck uh, tightening gears. Well, this has got three of them. This is what they are. So the scroll is down inside here. This is a, the thread gear here that these ride on. And um, that's where the little three screws go. That uh, put her back in. So I'm. So now what I'm going to do is pull these, and theoretically, they sh they look like they'll just come out because they've been in there a while. As you can see, they come right on out of there. So. Um, And they fit, there's a recess in here. In fact, let me pull it back out. This little pin part of it here, okay, fits into a recess down in here. Oh, I don't know if I can bring that out or not, but I think I can once I get these out. In fact, I want to, um, if I can do this or not, one, 
I don't know if it matters or not. I don't think it does. And if these come out hard, these little gears, you take a brass, a brass, uh, like a brass punch. Uh, they say don't use steel, use a brass one. Uh, and I'm going to actually mill me one. Or uh, lathe me one, I should say. <laughs> I'm going to do, do one on a lathe. I'm going to get me some brass rod. And I'm going to do that on mine. Alright, let's see here. Now let's see if I can get the scroll out of here. No, not yet. So, No, okay. That must be pressed in there. I know they say that they some of them are pressed in. So obviously I think that's what this one is. It's pressed in. So, there's not much I can do with that. Um, kind of hoping to clean that pretty good, but I guess I cannot. Right, I don't want to do anything more to it because I don't want to scratch that and mess that up. So. I just have to clean it that way. But anyways, this is the chuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, it does come out. Yeah. Because it turns. So. Right tool for the right job, right? Alright. I think about that a little bit more. I don't think I don't see anything else in there holding it on there. Let's get the uh the old flashlight on there. I think it comes out of there, but I don't see any pin or anything holding it down. Now, part of that, I know this here. This is part of this case, this whole chuck case. So, and I see a gap there, daylight. So. She ain't moving, so well, I can tell. I'm going to spin it around. Can't get her to go past that, so. Let's see. I want to see something here. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. It ain't supposed to come out of there. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna clean this real good. They say to use, um, you know, mineral spirits or anything like that. To clean this up. So that's what I'm going to do. That with the jaws, uh, the uh, um, I think these are scroll gears that, <clears throat> that you know actually tighten the bring the jaws in. Um, All right, I'm going to have to remark that. I have to be careful because.
that's my guide to know how it goes back together you know how it fits you know so I want to make sure okay, let me see something here that little neater um, you know there's some crud and grease and stuff in there it needs to be cleaned out I think and you put just a little tiny bit of oil in here I guess you know just a like machine oil you know um, and but I want to clean her up good you know this thing needs a little bit of I need some TLC so I want to that's what I want to do it I want to clean it up good and you'll make it mine you know um, Let's go over here to the uh, lathe. Um, that's the uh, this is the face plate here, face of the, where the chuck goes, um, and um, you can put another chuck, a different chuck, size chuck on here. You can uh, put a face on here. You know. Uh, uh, no, no, there's a uh, adapter plate. I'm also changing. I ordered the uh, already ordered it um, a um, quick change tool post changing that um, They say to remove this so you can take this off and clean the make sure that the uh, uh, Power feeds clean uh, thread rod is clean good. Uh, I got this board and um, on here because I don't want to damage the way which is this piece right here uh, you don't want nothing dropping on that I see some nicks right there a little bit that somebody's done, that he's done but uh, you don't want too many you want no nicks on that you know um, you know needs and it needs to be clean and fresh oiled you know just a little tiny bit of machine oil anyways this is the uh, three jaw chuck that um, Uh, and I can get a four jaw get or a three inch. I'm sorry. It's a three inch three jaw chuck scroll type um, and You can um, You can get uh, uh, Four inch on it uh, four, uh, Three or four jaw but I'm, you know, this this good enough for what I what I want to do. So, you know, I'm obviously not a machinist, uh, but I'm a learning uh, Padawan learner <laughs> machinist. So uh, it's going to be a fun little little machine to play with a little bit. Uh, couldn't you know you can't touch these damn things for less than you know five hundred dollars. I mean, you just can't. I looked and looked and looked, and this guy he's upgrading to a big one. Um, and again, he does motorcycle seats and all kinds of other stuff, leather work and stuff. So I'm gonna get in touch with him with that on that side of the fence. But uh, this one here, uh, you know, this guy. Uh, there's the adjustment right there. See? Yeah, there's an adjustment on there. Yeah, that's interesting. An adjustment on that thing that allows for what thread feed I want for. I'm gonna have to mess around with that. So, but anyhow, that's my other toy. You know, where in the hell I put all this stuff? But anyways, that's the least of my concerns. <laughs> so, I'll three jaw chuck, and I'm cleaning her out, and a little project here, and that's the scroll part. But they need to be cleaned, you know. And I did find that when you put the teeth back in, and you get ready to align it basically the way you do it and I have other jaws for it too but you uh, you adjust the you adjust this for when the when the um, scroll starts uh, see it's actually right there um, that's it right there and I will thread it back 
you know, adjust it back so that's so it allows this to park in there, number one, number two, and number three. See, so there's like the beginning and on and on and on. So I'll do that when I get ready. So that's it for now. Later out. Okay, guys, real quick, um, <laughs> I was able to get the thing out of there. Um, that's the gears again that these ride on and turn this this here you know it turns this way and uh, that's what it lines the the uh, chuck that the scroll rides on see now this scroll these jaws right on these these uh, the scroll gear uh, winding and it's basically kind of just a little you know right inside there kind of thing uh, but anyways that's how it that's how it does it and um, you know the further you turn it it keeps going and going and going and as you notice it'll end up at the end see and same with backing it out now see there's a little bit of a little bit of resistance there so that's why I want to clean them see I want to clean them and they said to you know, make sure there's no, you know, use your hands to make sure there's nothing, you know, no burrs or any of that kind of stuff. So, I did get it out of there. Anyways, it went in, goes in like this. And, you know, being stubborn like I am, I said, it's got to come out of there, dude. It's not, it's not bonded to it or anything. So, I went like that and fell out. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the inside of it. Right there. And uh, that helps or not. Anyway, that's the inside of it there. And she needs some cleaning, you know. There's no scoring that I can tell. You know, nothing bad going on in there. And the, the teeth here look really good. Uh, there's nothing bad going on here. Um, so, you know, I'm going to clean that dude. Clean this out good. And also, I use my my portable uh, engraver, my little engraver, uh, and I engraved the numbers that they correspond to, and also my little uh, ident uh, identifiers of how she goes back together on the on the lathe itself. So I can't miss, you know. At least that's the theory, and that's what they tell you. So, anyways, need to do some need some cleaning. And uh, I wanted to show you everybody that real quick. So did get her apart, and that's it. More to come. <laughs>